इन्फॉर्मा मार्केट्स इन इंडिया द्वारा भारत की प्रमुख सुरक्षा एवं अग्नि प्रदर्शनी सेफ वेस्ट इंडिया की मुंबई के बॉम्बे एग्जीबिशन सेंटर में शुरुआत हुई 9 से 11 मई 2024 के बीच आयोजित यह प्रदर्शनी उद्योग जगत के दिग्गजों सरकारी अधिकारियों एवं अन्य प्रतिभागियों को ऐसा मंच प्रदान करेगी जहां उन्हें औद्योगिक सुरक्षा क्षेत्र में अवसरों एवं चुनौतियों पर चर्चा करने का मौका मिलेगा सेफ वेस्ट के दौरान कमर्शियल सुरक्षा एवं निगरानी से जुड़े समाधानों एवं रुझानों की व्यापक रेंज पेश की जाएगी जिन्हें निवारक तकनीकों और इनोवेशंस के साथ पश्चिमी भारत के बाजार के लिए तैयार किया गया है सीसीटीवी, सर्विलांस बायोमेट्रिक एंट्रेंस ऑटोमेशन एक्सेस कंट्रोल जीपीएस, वाईफाई राउटर आरएफआईडी, स्पाई कैमरा पीओई स्विच पावर सप्लाई और सीसीटीवी केबल में विशेषज्ञ ब्रांड इस प्रदर्शनी में हिस्सा ले रहे हैं तो आइए सुनते हैं इस खास मौके पर आए हुए मेहमानों ने इस प्रदर्शनी के बारे में क्या कुछ कहा ये आपको सुनाते हैं पेश है मुंबई से हमारी खास खबर So I think, as uh, Pankaj rightly said, I think we are in the most uh, prominent uh, business region of this country, Western India, and uh, so much corporate and the uh, security. Need. I think for me, I think the biggest need which is driver is the, the government uh, projection. They they are uh, looking to make the cities, the kind uh, of the state secure. So there are a lot of investments happening in this city, in the state. Even in adjoining states like Gujarat, uh, Karnataka, there. so we have visitors coming from all the states: Gujarat, Karnataka, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Raj, even Rajasthan. So they are all coming in, and they are going to see this. And uh, so that is the key driver. The, the, the government policy is receiving on this. Uh, and, and this sector itself is growing. This is what about four billion dollar sector, which was there uh, uh, till 2022, which is going to be 13 billion dollar sector just for CCTV alone. Uh, by 20, uh, I would say by 2029 is what is expected. That's our 17 percent growth. So that amount of uh, orders are expected to come in. That amount of investments are expected to happen. So that is the key. The Western India, as we all know, is the, the biggest business market in this country. So I think this is something which was the reason why we brought this show here. My question is to the stakeholders. So how is the AI and the IoT technologies related? Given the opportunity for the stakeholders. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, so you know, recent technologies of AI and IoT are adding lots of values. Okay, definitely it is uh, like earlier CCTV was uh, just for security purpose, but now because of AI and IoT, now you know it is become like um, uh, you know um, uh, information, uh, video as and content information. Okay, and it can just analyze and you can use the AI and IoT tools on that and analyze and give uh, you know more business intelligence information. Uh, like uh, for example, if I give example of uh, retail shops, earlier retail shops, you know, just for uh, uh, shoplifting uh, was the you know for that only for that protection they used to install cameras. But now the cameras is not only helping shoplifting, but it is also helping uh, uh, the retail outlet people that you know how many people are coming to what is the footfall. It can give count of the people. It can give gender detection. It is a male, female, and uh, you know by, by video content analysis it can give. It can also give like you know. Who are they? Uh, you know which age group? What what is their behavior when they are looking at the shows? Or you know which shelf is moving more? You know where they are standing more longer period of time? Which shelf they need to do merchandising? This sort of value additions now you know video uh, as an information just adding. So security becoming more and more smarter using uh, you know artificial intelligence and AIOTs and a rightly usage of that will add lots of values and give lots of good business intelligence information in uh, uh, coming years. कंपेरिंग से लास्ट ईयर इसमें चुनाव का बहुत ज़्यादा मोर विजिटर्स हैं कंपेरिंग से लास्ट ईयर जिसे 30 परसेंट मोर विजिटर्स यू सेड विल बी सीन इन दिस सो व्हाट हाउ मेनी न्यू कंपनीज़ आर एडेड 
first there are seventy five brands which are here and this company at this show and uh, I think the the market leading brands are all here. If I say right here, uh, Equation, Drama, we are the CP Plus, we are the all, all the big the ZK Tico's. They're all all the big companies in this space. Wait, uh, they they are all here in this show. So for me, the main part is. The brands recognizing faith, they understanding this market, the need of the award. So that is how it will grow. Uh, this is how we are seeing. This is how the any any show grows in terms of adding value to brands. When the big brands come in, it means that the show is really worth it. So that's something which is uh, happening for this. Thank you. Sir, this is a election season. So, what kind of security demand is there? Look, when it's a election season, the government machinery is. चौकस हो जाती है वो अपने काम में लगते हैं लेकिन हम कॉपरेट और जो प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्री है वो भी जो मदद होती है जो सरकार की पूरी तरह से करते हैं चाहे ट्रांसपोर्ट में चाहिए चाहे अगर बंदे चाहिए तो जो अपनी इंडस्ट्री है वो पूरी सपोर्ट करती है जितना हो सकता है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जरूर सरकार की होती है लेकिन हम सब मिल के हम सब का जैसे कर्तव्य है उन जोल के सारे उसमें जो थोड़ा डिमांड बढ़ता जरूर है लेकिन ये कोई नई चीज़ नहीं है हर साल चुनाव होता है पंचायत का होता है लोकसभा का होता है राज्यसभा का होता है उसमें मिलजुल के कोई उसमें दिक्कत नहीं आती मेरा पर्सनल मानना ऐसा है कि जितना जैसे मैं टेक्नोलॉजी को दस साल से देख रहा हूँ तो टेक्नोलॉजी की जो गलत साइड है वो ज़्यादा चर्चा में होती है लेकिन एआई और ये जो जितने भी यहाँ पे सिक्योरिटी के टूल्स जो है यहाँ पे दिखाए जा रहे हैं उसका काफ़ी सारा अच्छा पहलू भी है ए आई की जहाँ तक आप बात कर रहे हैं तो ए आई हमें काफ़ी सारे चीज़ों को सॉल्व करने का आपका कोई प्रॉब्लम होगा जिसमें आपके पास कुछ डेटा सेट है जहाँ से आपको कुछ लॉजिकल चीज़ें निकाला जाए वहाँ डेफिनेटली आपको हेल्प होगा लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं आपको देता हूँ कि जैसे इन्होंने जैसे बताया कि एग्जाम्पल दे रहे थे कि जो कैमरा है वो सिर्फ अभी कैमरा नहीं रहा है वो आपको बहुत सारी डिटेल्स देता है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल अभी हम लोग जैसे मैं फॉरेंसिक बैकग्राउंड से हूँ पहले क्या होता था कि जो कैमरा था जैसे ट्रैफिक कोई सिग्नल वायलेट करके चला गया इतनी तेज से निकल गया कि वो ना पुलिस ह्यूमन लिमिट है वो देख नहीं पाएगा लेकिन अगर ए आई युक्त कैमरा कैमरा रहेगा तो वो गाड़ी भी आइडेंटिफाई करेगा गाड़ी का नंबर भी आइडेंटिफाई करेगा और प्रॉब्लमली अगर उसका जो एरिया है कि उसको चलाने वाला कौन है वो भी काफ़ी हद तक आइडेंटिफाई होगा जिससे लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मेंटेन करने की अपॉर्चुनिटी बढ़ती है सिमिलरली इसके अलावा बहुत सारे पुलिस एजेंसीज है जो अलग अलग ए आई टूल्स यूज करते हैं जिससे हमारा जो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर होगा या जो क्राइम डिटेक्शन जो है वो काफ़ी तरह से आसान होगा Theme of the second edition and one of the topics that are going to happen. Yeah, so theme, basically this other side is the theme we have for the conference which is happening. The theme is intelligent secure tech for safer future. Because we are talking of intelligent tech now, we are talking of artificial intelligence. So that is the theme of the conference and as you heard both the speakers, I think Artificial intelligence is what is actually the future for this entire sector. Which is, so we are covering a lot of topics out here. Do you state participants more respect and uh, any new status coming from Yeah, so it's, it's a Western India show and uh, definitely we have promoted it and we have got registrations from uh, not only Gujarat and Maharashtra but also states like Rajasthan. There are uh, visitors who are registered to come from Rajasthan, from Madhya Pradesh, Goa, even Karnataka who are coming in for this show. So it's, it's a fan, a sort of a South, West and a bit of North kind of thing. So we call it a West and West region show. In terms of exhibitors, they are all domestic and all, most of the exhibitors have presence across the country. But there are some uh, exhibitors in terms of exhibitors who have presence. One thing you want to talk about it? I think it's more Western India. Who come from, you know, they are looking at uh, this as a business opportunity, right? So they would come from anywhere and everywhere. But because the show is happening in Mumbai, majority of the exhibitors, I call them technology providers, they are actually from Bombay. Uh, but but we do have our exhibitors from across the country. We also have international exhibitors participating at the show. And uh, one more aspect. On your side, which kind of government support you are looking at? How government is looking at this? 
I think government is, uh, uh, you know, very much uh, helping and there are lots of uh, policies are being uh, driven and uh, the direction of policies is more and more uh, focus on uh, making India and uh, localization as possible. And, uh, you know, industry is uh, also committed to follow the government policies and localization as possible. Electronics is an area where, you know, like uh, uh, India was not that highly earlier uh, invested. Okay, like I think, you know, if you see like uh, uh, other Asian countries like, you know, Taiwan and uh, uh, Korea, Japan, etc. were high, you know, they were more in chip manufacturing and other devices. But now, we have, you know, government is very well aware that, you know, they need to uh, give more and more incentive for such making India uh, process. And it's not only just making India, but the product and, uh, you know, the components also we should start building in India. Though it will take some time in, uh, you know, uh, 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 building complete ecosystem of the same. But I think, you know, the direction is already set and, the uh, you know, the uh, willingness is already there and the political will is already inclined to do that. So it is already being uh, assigned and lots of policies are uh, being drafted for the same. That's why you can see lots of chip manufacturers, lots of electronic manufacturers and even uh, the international companies are, uh, uh, you know, uh, investing uh, their plants and manufacturing setup within India in different parts of India. So definitely government is helping and building lots of policies uh, uh, to make this industry, overall industry grow and uh, becoming more and more Atma Nirbhar as possible. So, sir, can... Uh, you know, still we are uh, quite a lot depend on imports, okay. Import as such, it's uh, now import definition are changing. Earlier, you know, there are lots of finished goods only importing. Now, instead of importing finished goods, you know, now we are in, uh, you know, uh, lots of raw materials now we are importing. And, you know, that's where I just said that, you know, now government is also focusing on building more raw material plants here in India. Like chips uh, and uh, chip manufacturing, you know, IC manufacturing, were uh, not that, uh, uh, you know, uh, focused in India and the policies and uh, the research and development are not that focused. But now that part also being focused. Of course, make in India and, uh, you know, uh, that drives is helping and everyone is coming to that. But now import side also, it is just you now more, more and more localization on components is helping to build more and more make in India. Flexible in terms of what is the component of localization and international. So I think in some of the other sectors we have seen that. So that's a good thing. That when you don't insist of 100% localization, you are saying okay, okay, we can we are okay with 50% or 70% localization, but 30% can be international. So I think that that's a good positive sign because they understand that we can't just insist of 100% localization because it will take some time to get to that level. But if we have a target to reach a six trillion economy or whatever, we will need some part of imports also to happen at the same time. Uh, how the response to the to the previous show, the current one? Yeah. And uh, what kind of market or new products you are going to expand to the different the industry? So I think, yeah, yeah. And uh, what kind of benefits are going to be the market? So I'll take your last question first. I think the entire platform is for networking, making business, uh, getting knowledge about the sector. So that's the that's entire reason why we are holding this. Uh, say first here because there is uh, our largest fair if say which happens in Delhi but we see still there's if there are 10 percent people coming and there's 100 percent audience which is missing out and that's the reason that lead gap we wanted to fill in so that we could create a local market out here and that's why we come over here you know? so that's an uh, important question what we are trying to achieve by doing this in terms of I think uh, attendance I think we are going to have as Pankaj said rightly at least 30 percent more what we did last year oh 5000 is what is expected uh, this year 5000 trade visitors they all be we will be visitors they are not consumers so that's something which is so the multiplier impact is going to be there what you are going to see is it's not small orders they are big orders which will be placed and then you will have then it will come down to retailers and distributors. So I think that's something which we will see of impact. In terms of technologies, I must say that I think 
technologies are evolving. There's so much of, I think, if I talk about it, I'm expert reading my level, my level language. Of course, AI is the focus, which is there. If you see most of the artificial intelligence products are there. We are talking of high, ultra high definition cameras and cameras now. New GPS technologies, more efficient GPS technologies. I think facial recognition uh, softwares which are there. I think something which which I could think of, which I can. Then I'm on the show floor, but I think I can't say anything more than the experts. So I think limit to experts to say. Helping. So as your to answer your question, lots of new products are coming. You know, like uh, uh, the 4G, 5G enabled cameras. Okay, like it. Uh, you know, earlier you need to do network or wiring to up to in the if. Uh, if you want to have a surveillance on the highway, then you need to have a cabling. Uh, and, uh, but now 5G or 4G is so powerful. So 4G enabled, 5G enabled. Then what to do for power? Then you know the solar enabled. You know so 4G, 5G, and solar. So such cameras and technologies are coming and taking up the stage. A apart from that, you know there are lots of uh, uh, different uh, product lines are there. Like you know normally X-ray package scanner, for example, it is very old product. X-ray when you go to airport or everywhere, X-ray package is there. But uh, you know now X-ray package scanner is also becoming more smart. You just put your bag, then it will just give you almost you know you, you need a CISF guy to learn the X-ray, reading the X-ray, what colors, then what is the metal or bottle or knife or etc. But now because of AI and now new product lines is coming up. Now you know X-ray package scanner. You put your bag, then it will read the QR code also on the bag. So whose bag is this? And then also build a list of the product which is there inside and the, keep the record that what all the items are there inside and then keep record for the future aspects ki bhi flight mein pahunch raha aur uska bag mein kya kya saman tha so if you want to check it on follow up also you can do and a very smartly you can deviate on also such a product line are there so technology is definitely helping and uh, overall uh, integration of technologies with the uh, you know right applications and usages i think uh, you know the uh, overall market will grow and uh, informa markets and such chef fest uh, shows are providing such platform to showcase such nice product line into the market uh, that's great right now, you know, we are just trying to become a, a self, uh, Atma Nirbhar, you know, as possible. Uh, but, you know, the very soon I think export will also start, you know, like uh, we at the Prama India, you know, uh, we have already started some export to, uh, you know, UK market, okay. And uh, we are now thinking to plan even to extend our, uh, you know, operations in uh, US and other parts as well. But, you know, we still, uh, you know, like uh, we are quite depend on uh, lots of components and other depend on the, you know, uh, imports, as I said to the gentleman, okay. So it will, the phase will come, but directions are very well set by government and policies are very well set. So, you know, very soon we are not too far that, you know, we will just to start getting, become export-oriented market.